hi guys welcome back to another video um if you guys are new here i just want to say thank you so much i see that i'm almost at 600 subscribers if you are seeing this the same time i'm posting it and i'm really excited and happy to be continuously sharing my journey as a doula and just how my life is moving right now because i think it's really important when people share their stories and find connection in people, especially online. We are so into being online all the time. I think it's really important to pay attention to what we are taking in. I haven't posted on Instagram in weeks, but I'll leave my Instagram down below if you guys wanna send me a message. And that brings me to today's topic of letting go of fear in 2020. I feel like a lot of people are going through dissecting fear, figuring out what their inner voice is really telling them, and trying to figure out which way to go. But today I'm here to talk to you guys about a message that I find is very important right now, something that I have been struggling with. I can totally see a shift in what I used to be like and what I am entering right now. Sometimes these changes can be the hardest and actually make us feel like we're going backwards. So I'm not going to get too personal, but I am going to kind of just talk about letting go of fear and really welcoming this time of transition. I definitely don't want to be too woo-woo or anything, but I do think that right now everybody is experiencing a lot of the same feeling. So I'm just hoping I could bring up this topic, share an experience, and hopefully get a conversation going with you and the people that are important to you. So let's just get started. <music> If you've been experiencing higher anxiety, moodiness, um, feeling really motivated and feeling unmotivated, I feel you and I see you and I hear you. I think we can all agree that we are very sensitive to what is going on around us in the world, especially when it's happening everywhere and we are sensitive to the people in our environment and our families, our friends. We're very sensitive to those people and that's why there's a saying that says, I'm pretty sure, um, you are like what your friends are basically, like you end up doing what they do and things in that nature. And I think that there, yeah, that is very true when there is fear. Fear of what tomorrow looks like will do that to us. It will make us join groups and be fearful of being our own leader and our own sense of guidance because right now i find that we have so many people around us that are fearful bay is home i love when bay comes home i just want to say that when we have people in our world that are very fear driven um that washes off on us and it happens so often. Um, I've never been that person and it makes me upset that I am traveling down a road of feeling very high anxiety. I just want to be that reminder to say you know what you need to do and because we have intuition and because we feel like we know what is right for us that doesn't make us naive to what is going on in the world. There is um, a fine line between listening to other people and listening to what we feel is right that can get very muddy it's easy to think that the people around us opinions because they're so strong and so frequent are our own opinions and that is not a love-based decision making process we are in a world that is still moving and growing and babies are being born people are getting new jobs people are being creative and rediscovering their light and love for life and I want to just make it really known that sometimes it's the people who are surrounding us that make us feel fearful. And that's probably something that is hard to go through in our minds because we don't like to think about um, people in our world doing that or being that way and affecting us. But it's very true that we are who we surround ourselves with. And if you have people that are in that fear-based mindset and just like a stuck mentality with what's going on right now, it's going to affect us. And personally, I can relate to this because normally I am very unconventional. I'm fly by the seat of my pants. I do things in a way that doesn't make sense to people. I know that the reality of our world has changed a bit. However, that doesn't mean that I have to turn off who I used to be and what has helped me become successful. As the world is changing, it's getting harder and harder 
to have the same mindset as the people around us. And it's not always true, but I think that right now it's especially important to be cautious of who we are sharing our experiences with and our dreams with because it's not always taken the best way. And I think that intuitively we know who isn't on the same wavelength and to just be mindful of that before feeling like they're not being supportive or something along that nature because everyone's kind of going through their own journey right now and I just think it's really important to be especially mindful. I have been very sensitive to my environment and to the people that I'm talking to and I think we always are but being in a pandemic and being stuck in place and not really being able to get out and do things has really made me mindful of the tendencies that I'm bringing into my world, the outlook, perspective, and I'm just realizing that it's more important now than ever to listen to that intuition, that gut feeling, because that is what is speaking to us and that is what is always trying to get through. I want to hit on a couple fear-based tendencies that may stick out to you, may trigger you, may make you realize, oh yeah, like that's definitely happening in my mind or in my family or around the opinions that are happening around me. So the first fear-based tendency that I have realized is huge right now is fear being the underlying thing that's happening but people are saying that it's just reality. Another fear-based tendency is believing that you cannot continue to be taking opportunity and creating and moving through life in a positive way because of what's going on in the world. I'm sorry but if it, it's like someone telling you to not be happy right now. Life is still moving, love is still growing, you still have a family, you still have people in your world that care about you and that you love together whatever energy we all decide to transfer to each other is what is going to grow and I think if we are hiding and letting fear take over we are disconnecting and we are giving no opportunity left to stay close that's why I believe that blaming things on what the world of what the state of the world looks like and their reality well we all have a part in that and I think that if we don't start realizing that and stop relying on people above us to do that our world is going to go crazy because we are not continuously loving each other and staying connected. We need to stay together. Another fear-based tendency that you can probably pick up on from other people is um, more of a feeling. So if you feel like you just can't be around anybody right now, or if you feel like you're trying to be positive and the people around you are really doubting things and making you feel like you have to doubt yourself and not being supportive, that is um, kind of like a little note to make to realize that they probably have differing views than you and they, be, they may be living in fear. So if you feel like you no longer want to be around them or you want to take your space from them or you feel drained after being around them, a way that we can really live more intuition and stop relying on other people's opinions is to just stop talking to people. I think that we rely so much on our friends and our family and even our significant others and other people that are very close to us and they may love and care for us so much that their opinions are muddled by fear that we will make the wrong decision in a time like this or that we will do something that's not quite right right now because of the state of the world. I will never let this, what is happening in the world, stop me from sharing positivity and sharing love. But I can certainly choose who I share that with. And if I don't feel like I'm aligning with somebody and it's kind of wasting away my energy and making me feel tired and drained, then I am choosing to stop talking. Then another really great way to tap into intuition is to practice some grounding practices like meditation because that allows you to kind of tap into what you're truly feeling. And I call it shower talk. When I go in the shower, I just get flooded with my own thoughts and my own fears and I can kind of dissect what's coming from the outside world of fear and what I'm actually feeling inside. So really focusing on some of those grounding practices can help just kind of weed out those fears that are coming in from other people. And I don't want this to come off like I'm being naive because I am well aware of what is happening in certain areas of the world, but, but life is still going on. And my energy has felt so heavy. So I can talk from personal experience that I have been holding on to people's fears 
and letting that weigh me down when inside I just want to be happy and excited and ready for the next transition and be ready for every single day. So this is my reminder to you to stop talking to the ones that make you feel like you can't do what you want to do right now. Spread love where you can and not try to fix other people's mindsets. You know, you can plant your seeds and you can hope that they grow in other people's way of thinking. But at the end of the day, we only have ourselves to love and to protect. And if our energy is drained by people that don't want our energy, then we're not going to have anything to sustain ourselves or the people that need it, like our kids or our families or our significant others. So that is what I want to leave you guys with today. If you yourself are in a funk and are trying to find your way out of it, I highly suggest looking into some resources that can do you good right now. Whether it is books or podcasts or people that are different than you, but you're wondering how they're so happy, reach out to them. Seek guidance from somebody else other than what's going on in your mind. Look for those resources. Don't allow yourself to just sit and be sad and scared for what's to come because there's still opportunities growing and it really depends on where you're putting your energy, what you're putting your time into, and who you are communicating with and what you are, you're trying to bring into your world. It's kind of like wanting to bring in love and positivity, but still hanging around the same people that make you feel that you're not included or make you feel that you can do no right in their eyes or make you feel like you don't belong. We can choose who we bring into our world and that is such a beautiful thing especially when it comes to being online and on social media and stuff. So that is my one little word of advice for if it is you who is holding on to these emotions and who is holding on to this fear. You can change that by who you are trying to bring into your circle. I hope this video resonated with you guys. If you are feeling the same thing, I am right here with you and I'm ready to break free of it and really get into my own zone and flow. So give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for being here. I know this video was like very low energy in some spots, but I'm trying to come to you guys as real as possible and this is just my state right now. We are moving through it and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys in the next video.